Tony Gedge. Day 10 lockdown in Marbella. So I've been getting uh, requests of help from all over the world, from Australia, Germany, from dentists who are fearful of what's about to come. So a lady in Australia has been in touch and they're about to go emergency only. So I've been helping her with some guidance on what to do, what mistakes we've made. And also a recent quote, well, it's not recent, but uh, Warren Buffett. So in 2008, when I helped many clients through the last recession, 12 years ago, Warren Buffett said, only when the tide goes out, do you discover who's been swimming naked. And just recently, leaders in dentistry have been swimming naked. So for example, you haven't been getting clear guidance and direction from, your, from the chief dental officer which has really caused a lot of confusion for my clients, certainly, and probably you watching this. Boris Johnson, compare Boris Johnson to Putin, who Putin gave clear and direct messages to his people, stay in or go to prison for five years. So as you're experiencing in England, there should have been a decision to either stay in or stay out and to try let a population make their own decisions is obviously not working. So we need to keep giving our people clear and direct communication and also our people and also our patients. And one particular client who uh, has got a dental group who we've been working with and he's been working with night and day, getting up at 4 a.m., going to bed at 1 a.m. and leading his people and his patients, putting action plans into place, giving clear messages. He's still giving clear messages now with a daily video to all his people. So how do we keep our people and our patients engaged then? So we've got an opportunity now if people are staying in and they're being forced to stay in, then they're going to have time on the hands. So we need to start, this is an ideal opportunity to start building relationships with our um, patients and our prospects and our local communities as well. So how can we do that? Well, we can do a weekly club, so the name of your dental practice club and we can do a virtual webinar once a week or you can do a FaceTime once a week. You can talk about facial aesthetics if you do facial aesthetics for example, how to look be forever young for example. You can talk about how uh, dental implants can um, potentially increase your confidence and um, examples of dental implants and what all on for is for example you can get your hygiene doing a toothbrushing club for children you can do a FaceTime you can do a, a zoom you can get a clinician talking about how to straighten buckled crooked and twisted teeth and you can do a webinar on that so you can do something once a month for your patients and prospects and send them an email, send them a text, telling them that you're running a weekly club uh, for them. And then when you do open back up, open, in, uh, open up in six, four to six weeks or, or eight weeks, then you will have patients ready to move forward with certain treatments. You have built trust with your patients and your prospects within your local community. You can put that on your social media. You can do um, marketing on social media, paid ads, boosted posts of your um, club. So not only for patients, but for, could be for your local community. So if you're in East Greenstead, for example, it could be um, East Greenstead Dental Practice, um, uh, Patient and Friends Club, and you can have an agenda over the next six weeks 
of what you're going to be doing every Wednesday lunchtime, for example, and adding value to your local community, to your people. You can get guest speakers on, uh, you can get a nutritionist on, your, you can become the host beneficiaries is what we call it. You can um, get a local GP on and talk about you know, um, the virus and you know, what, what it really is. You can get a health expert, a fitness expert into your club. You could run a, a daily webinar as well, inviting all the people from in your local community as well. And then they will invite their community into your community. You might gain new patients from it as well. So we call this cross fertilization. So I hope that's been um, helpful for you um, today. And I'll finish off with a um, fabulous quote. This morning I was doing my full focus planner. Um, every day um, I am really um, focused and lots of rituals that I do. And in my planner was a quote from Nelson Mandela. And he says, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. We're still going to have cortisol flowing. If you're a practice owner, you're going to be fearful. How are you going to survive? You will survive. You'll get through this. There is an end goal. We know that. We know that from China. There is an end out of this. You will get through this. You will feel the fear. You will triumph over this fear. Run through this fear. Feel this fear. Smash through this fear. And an old uh, mentor, Susan Jeffers, said, feel the fear and do it anyway. And funny enough, I never met uh, Susan Jeffers. I just used to watch her, um, uh, all her courses and read all the books. But I did meet her son, who used to come into my nightclub in Leeds called Liquid. Um, and uh, yeah, he had no fear. So today I'm urging you to feel the fear and do it anyway. Lead your people and your patients. Give clear and direct communication.